What is up guys? Back for another episode and uh, today um, I need to get started on the front because uh, the back is almost all ready to go. Just got a few things left to do. Uh, one of those in particular. What is that? Hmm. I think you guys know. So anyways, I need to jump to the front because uh, I need to get the front spindles off so I can put these new ball joints on there. Yeah. So, need to get that yanked and I also have uh, the bushings for uh, the front control arm. These are the inner and outer. Um, I'll be able to press those myself. It'd be easy. Uh, now the ball joints uh, if you guys watched the last vlog, you've seen how it sets at a weird angle, so I'm going to just go ahead and pay to have them pressed. So, I need to go out and get the front spindle off. So, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, out here at the shop. So, first things first, obviously jack the car up, get it on stands, and remove the front wheels. So, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, wheels are off, so now let's go ahead and get the uh, brake calipers and rotors off. And that is just as simple as two bolts back here on the rear of the caliper. Alrighty guys, so instead of turning the wheel to do one side, turn the wheel to the other side, turn the wheel back and forth, back and forth, I'm just going to do all of one side first, then do the other side. So, here's everything off. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, unbolt this piece right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and unbolt the tie rod as well. Alrighty guys, so got that bracket off out of the way, put the bolts back in so I don't lose them. Got the tie rod out and make sure you just bend it down just out of the way. Don't twist it right or left or any of that and throw off your toe. So now if you look back here, this is the, well, if you can see it, the ABS sensor. It's an ABS wheel speed sensor. Now, a lot of people think that the car gets its speed from this. It's absolutely not true. Um, think about it. You're on a dyno, your speedometer still works. You're doing a standing still burnout, speedometer still works. So what this actually does is this is with the uh, vehicle dynamic control and stuff like that, that it judges your speed and all that stuff and helps apply brakes and stuff when you need to or help kick in the ABS, all that good stuff. So... I'm going to head, go ahead and do away with the front wheel speed sensors because I don't need them. I don't have ABS anymore anyway, so I've already deleted that. So, now I'm going to take those off and uh, trace lines up into the uh, uh, yeah, engine bay and figure out uh, how to unplug them. Boom. Alright, now I'm sure a lot of you guys still have their, your ABS, so you're not concerned about getting rid of the, the front wheel speed sensors. So... Just in case you do though, just goes right like this up into the fender liner. And this might be tough to see, but you gotta kinda unbolt the fender liner. And then when you look back inside here, if you can see, right there's a plug. You just gotta unplug that and you're good to go, man. Other sides, uh, Actually, a lot easier if you just take your filter off. Well, for me anyways, but I don't know if you can see right there's the other plug. Real easy to get to. So, yeah. And there's the ABS sensor. Alrighty, guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and unbolt sway bar and link and the shock. Alright, now I know these ball joints have been on there forever. So, this one and this one. So, I'm just going to take both those off and make my life easier. Like, actually separate it, you know what I mean? Take the crown back off back there and same over here. Just to make my life easier, take it all off as one. So, yeah. Alright, instead of taking everything off, I came up with a better solution. I just went ahead and took the top off, which gave me all kinds of slack to get to there. Got the cotter pin out. Now, I know this thing's going to be a nightmare, so I'm going to try the impact, see what happens. 
All right, so just like I figured it would, it's just spinning in there. So I'm gonna have to get some vice grips, pinch this right here, and then we'll be able to get it out. All right, guys, so there you have it. Now, I gotta recommend that if you're keeping your ball joints, do not do this, because you're obviously gonna destroy the ball joint. But I'm getting new, so on both, so it won't matter for me. All righty, guys, work like a charm. Came right out. So, only thing left is the other ball joint. So, let me go ahead and yank the cotter pin and uh, start messing with it. Alrighty guys, there you have it. I did that last one, she kind of just fell on the floor. Not exactly what I wanted to happen, but. Alrighty guys, there you have it. Ball joint is ready to be pressed out. Obviously got destroyed by me messing with it, but it's all good. So, that being said, let's go ahead and jump to this side and uh, make it happen too, Captain. All right, now, I'm going to wait until not today. I'm not worried about taking this off because I'm going to press the bushings on this thing tomorrow. And you see what I'm talking about, how perfectly flat and long that thing is. So those bushings are going to be super easy. You can literally just take it and hold it back inside there and press it out so easy um and another reason i want to wait is because to take the compression arm off you have to drop the like subframe thing piece in the front you see right here it goes all the way across that's gonna be a good bit of work and i've already got a good bit of work to do on the other side so that being said Let's go jump to the other side and uh, get started dismantling it. Alright, now everything on this side, same exact thing as the opposite side, so I'll spare you guys the torture of running through everything all over again and I'll just get back to you when everything's off or if I run into little troubles here and there, I'll stop and give you guys some hints or whatever. Alrighty guys, there you have it. Now, uh, I went ahead and took the hub and everything off. Took that off for a specific reason. I'll show you in another video. But I went ahead and took that off just to make life easier for the guy when he's pressing it. And uh, I'll actually go ahead and grind those nubs down just a little bit better while I got them off. Um, so, yeah, let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, guys. As you can see, I'm going to ground them down real nice. Both of them. Nice. Perfect. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take off these brackets because I just don't see the point of it. I don't understand why it's there. The only thing I could think of is that perhaps the way it sits like that, maybe to stop debris from bouncing, like, you know, off the inner fender liner and then coming back and maybe smacking your tie rod but uh you'd think it'd come a little bit farther out it doesn't really make much sense how it just barely see what i mean that's kind of stupid so that being said i'm gonna go ahead and yank those right now and there it is out and check that out that was a nightmare getting that thing out somebody cross-threaded it from the factory awesome yeah, and the same thing happened again, only this time. I actually snapped the bolt. Isn't that awesome? But, doesn't matter, because I don't need it. And, uh, it's what, what do you call that? Weight reduction, bro? <laughs> Alright, so I'm sitting here and I'm looking at my uh, coilovers. And I, uh, since I took the ABS sensors off, that's what this thing bolts to. So there's no reason for me to have those anymore. So... I went ahead and unbolted it from there. Just leave it off. One less hassle if I want to raise or lower my car. Boom. Weight reduction, bro. Alrighty, guys. So, spindles are off. Brackets off. Everything's off. These are ready to send off to this guy next week. Or this coming week. And uh, get these pressed out and the new ones pressed in. So, that being said, it's going to wrap this video up. So, uh, you guys look at the video, man. 
smash that thumbs up. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want to see more content. And uh, peace.